Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. Put your robo hair. Sprite Castle. Hello and welcome to another episode of Sprite Castle. On today's show, I'm going to be playing the classic 1984 game from Activision, Toy Bazaar. Toy Bazaar was written by Mark Turmel, as you can see there on the uh, title card. Mark Turmel, um, I believe, worked for Midway for uh, many, many years. He worked on NBA Jam, NFL Blitz, lots of uh, awesome games like that. Um, after That was after Activision, of course. Um, he worked on uh, Turmoil for the Atari 2600, I know that. Uh, he's worked on lots and lots of great games. He worked for Electronic Arts for a while, and now he works for Zynga. So Mark has been in the game industry for a long, long time. Uh, this is one of Mark's classic games, uh, Toy Bazaar. This is a nice coffee. <laughs> this is Toy Bazaar, nice coffee. Let's go ahead and get started with Toy Bazaar. Now there, um, right off the bat, you will see, uh, there is, that's you, the little guy running, I believe his name is, um, hold on, I wrote this down, Merton. I always wanted to call him Martin, but apparently his name is Merton. I do not know where the name Merton, M-E-R-T-O-N, came from. And that chasing you is Hefty Hilga. I don't know if we can call people Hefty. Is that a PC term? I guess it is Hefty. You're a bit Hefty, Hilga. That's a very German-sounding character there. Uh, you can see our four enemies, where our five enemies are all on the screen there. You have four different types of toys, the Twirly, the Springer, the Whirly, and the Scooter. Uh, they all move slightly different. Uh, and... Um, and then you have Hefty Hilga. Now, the goal of Toy Bazaar, as we go ahead and get started here, uh, is uh, you, Merton, are working in a toy factory. You can see it's uh, Monday night. It's the first hour. It's 12 o'clock. That's me down there at the bottom. And now what you see here uh, are valves, helium valves. There's an extra man up there. Uh, and the helium valves fill helium balloons, and helium balloons uh, explode, and uh, toys come out of them. So the, the easiest way to beat a level, if you can do it, is to collect the balloons before they turn into toys, and that's what I'm trying to do here. Now, uh, once toys have popped out of the balloons, you will see they will be walking around here, and uh, to remove them or to kill them or whatever you want to say what you do is you jump over them and they turn into a flashing color you can also hit uh, the platform that they're on if you see what I just did there and uh, touch them now uh, Helga cannot be killed by jumping over her uh, but if you land on one of those platforms and she's on the other end, there's always two platforms that go together. They're always in pairs. So if you land on one and she's on the other one and it pops her up, um, it will shoot her off the screen uh, temporarily. So lots of things going on here. Um, and so I'm running around here popping these balloons. And uh, I'm going to get up here and jump over the... Oh, and jump right into that guy. That was dumb. Uh, let's see, what can I tell you about this game? Uh, it is an Activision game, and Activision actually offered a patch for this game uh, for scores of 70,000. You see the coffee break down there? When I get the coffee break, you'll notice that uh, everybody now, I can just run into them, and I'm uh, invincible for a short period of time. There we go. Um... Now, you notice on these valves, uh, some of them say off. The bottom four valves on each level can be turned off. And while they're off, they won't um, generate the balloons that pop into toys. Uh, if... Now, this is... <laughs> I'm going to say this is impossible. I've never been able to do this. I'm going to try here. Uh, this is a bonus round. The goal of this round is, in a certain amount of time, to turn all the valves off. And leave them off. The problem is, is that, as you can see, uh, Helga is turning... Am I going to... I just did it. I never do that. That's amazing. I'm awesome. Uh, so you're supposed to turn all those off and you get a little bonus. Uh, I, wow. Look at me. I'm glad I was recording that because that's never happened before. I'm terrible at that. Uh, now, what you see up there at the top uh, upper left-hand corner are balloons of different colors. 
So now you're going to start seeing uh, different different type enemies. Anytime you jump over them, notice I jumped over that guy, jumped over that guy. So they kind of have to be on the same level, though. You can jump over more than one at a time, and you can steer a little ah, Merton uh, in midair. You can kind of make him move left or right. Um... Uh, I've never really fully understood the jumping mechanism as far as sometimes when you're near underneath the platform is whenever uh, your player jumps really high. When you're running, he kind of jumps far. It, it, so it, it's um, you're not really controlling that, but it, it always seems to work. It seems to kind of anticipate based on how you're running and where you're, you're meant to jump uh, the uh, what you were trying to do there. So... There's lots of little things going on in this game. Uh, the graphics are very cute. Everything is, uh, obviously, you can see animated here. Um, <clears throat> lots of little music things going on. Uh, let's see if I can drop old Helga here. There we go. So notice I just sent her shooting off into space. That'll give me a, a few moments of gameplay here without her running around wrecking things. There's an extra man, the one that looks like my head. Nah, that didn't work. And now I've got all four valves off at the bottom and if this is the end of the level I should get a bonus for having all the valves turned off at the end of my shift. Let's see if it says bonus. I didn't say bonus, but safety check. S S S S A A A A T T T T Y Y Y Y Safe 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 Check 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 That joke really went on longer than it needed to. Um, let's see if I can do this. No, oh, Helga. The problem is with uh, that one is that you have two Helgas and they're running in opposite directions. So on the on the, the first bonus level. It's easy to, um, not easy, because I used to never do it, but what I always try to do is follow her, so as she, you get all of them off, and then as you're following her, uh, then you'd be able to turn that one off. Oh, that didn't work well. Let's see if I can do this. Nope, I cannot. <laughs> so anyway, Toy Bazaar. Um, I don't know that I've ever actually paid attention to it. Like I said, I, I know that I looked on, ah, oh, that was stupid. Uh, looked online and that uh, in the actual manual, Activision says that um, you could earn a uh, a patch for um, scores of seventy thousand. Uh, I mean, I, I'm I've already said on this show I'm not great at multitasking. I'm not really good at talking and playing and looking at the camera occasionally. Uh, so uh, the fact that uh, I'm at twenty thousand right now, it kind of makes me think that. 70,000 would be in my reach? Uh, not at the way I'm playing right now, obviously, but... Whoop. So you can see some of the other uh, creatures popping up here are a little bit more aggressive now. If I could get up there to that coffee thing, I would sure like to do that. And it's gone. Whoop. So, this is Toy Bazaar. It's a cute little fun game. This is uh, back before you kids and your, your little Toy Story stuff. Um, but yeah. Uh, not much else to say about this. Oh, there is a two-player version. Uh, so you can play a two-player version of this. Um, it's not... Uh, eh, I don't know. I didn't have any friends <laughs> growing up. I spent a lot of time playing Commodore games by myself, so I don't actually know if um, if there's an end to this game or not. I don't know if, if eventually you, God forbid, that uh, you work in this factory forever. Uh, I'd like to find the guy that keeps turning the uh, the valves on each night. I'd like to find that guy. Let's see if I can do this. Bonk. Uh, also, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but, you know, the platforms uh, that uh, 
sent Helga uh, into space will do the same for you. If you're standing on a platform, sometimes you have to kind of jump on them to see uh, which ones do what. But uh, yeah, you can be sent into space uh, just like Helga is or whatever. Yeah, I'm not, not doing so good there. But anyway, uh, so Toy Factory, or Toy Factory, Toy Bazaar, uh, fun little game. Uh, like I said, uh, I, I don't know that I'm do, doing it justice, uh, you know, as I'm, I'm playing here and, and talking about it at the same time. But um, very fun game, very fun little platformer. Like I said, very colorful, uh, great graphics, great music. Uh, there seems to be a little logic problem there if I'm starting on the same platform where there's a, a guy... Doesn't seem to be much way out of that. I guess I could have waited for him to hop off eventually. But, um, uh, yeah, if you like platform type games, if you like, um, you know, any of these type of, uh, like I said, it's a Mario, it's kind of a cross between Mario Brothers and Joust, maybe. Um, but, uh, a fun game. I recommend it definitely if, uh, if you're into, um, you know, if you're looking for a fun Commodore game to play, definitely give this one a try. So, Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Sprite Castle. If you want to follow all the episodes, go to SpriteCastle.com or check out ThrowbackNetwork.net where you can find Sprite Castle and lots of other great retro-themed podcasts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.